we see all the time entrepreneurs that that want that sell themselves and sell their coaching as service they misappropriate confidence versus arrogance and i see it all the time when i'm ta i'm saying when too much i'm sorry about that statuses saying how they're the shit or how amazing they are and calling themselves poets and artists and every word that gets spewed out of their mouth is not bullshit, it is poetry and it is my art. Now I'm not having any veiled shots at anyone so don't try to take this as such. It's a, mul it's a multitude of people and to me it comes across as First of all, who the fuck is this guy thinking? What is he talking about? <laughs> and second of all, that is not how he truly thinks of himself. When you have to shout at everyone, when you have to say to everyone how awesome you are, that is an affirmation to yourself that you have to constantly say to yourself to actually believe it's true. I believe in self-affirmations. I believe in constantly giving yourself a mantra of how you believe who you are. But when you have to constantly say it and then post it publicly to others to try to prove to other people that you feel that way about yourself, there's something wrong with that and there's something a little bit off. And to me, I'm not trying to be a therapist. I'm not trying to be a drugstore or a therapist here, but... When you have to constantly say it to others, when you have to constantly talk about how you're the shit to others, it sounds like you're not truly thinking that, that you're really just having a lot of low self-esteem there. Now, what is true confidence then if it's not about boasting and being arrogant to everyone else? I think we've all seen it. The guy, A guy just walks, a woman just walks, and they're like, okay... There's a certain thing about that guy. There's a certain intangible feeling you get from someone who you see as truly confident. They don't have to say nothing. They don't have to tell you anything. They don't have to tell you how awesome they are. They just look it. And they just walk with the confidence that they are the shit. So it's not the easiest thing to walk around with confidence and to walk around with the aura of you being awesome. It's not. And I've de developed it, while well, I'm talking from personal experience, I've developed the confidence I have now through years of self-improvement and hard work. I was not the person I was a year ago, let alone four years ago. You, I talk about how you don't promote yourself about how awesome you are, but if you ask me, yeah, I'm the shit. <laughs> I am awesome. And there's nothing you can say to prove otherwise. I, I, I am the best. I am, whatever I'm trying to do, I am the best at or will be the best at it. Because that's just me. Whatever, I have the Midas touch when it comes to awesomeness. I touch it, boom, I'm good at it. Or it becomes better. See, now that is different from having to tell people that. If you ask me, I'll tell you the truth, but I'm not going to let anyone know unless they want to know. Because that's me, and that's how I believe true confidence truly is. So don't fall for it. If you see someone on Facebook constantly talking about how how awesome they are, how much of a badass they are, nine times out of ten they're not, and they're it's veiled lack of self confidence and self esteem. Just thought I'd put it out there. The All Married Journey. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. New videos every week. Peace out, guys.